అందరికీ నమస్కారం స్వాగతం మీరు ఈరోజు చేయాల్సిందల్లా ఏమవుతుంది ఏంటో అని చూద్దాం నేనైతే హ్యారీ పోటర్ చాప్టర్ త్రీలోకి వచ్చాను లెవెన్ ఫోర్ అయితే రీచ్ అవ్వబోతున్నాను బట్ ఇప్పుడు మనం చేసేదానికి అక్కడ చూసినది బేబ్ అరేజర్ నేమ్ ఈ అండ్ అరేజర్ నేమ్ సో నేను ఆ సావ్ పాయింట్ ఆ సేవ్ పాయింట్లోకి అయితే వెళ్తున్నాను ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ ఓకే గోయింగ్ టు ద సేవ్ పాయింట్ గేమ్ అయితే మర్చిపోకుండా తప్పగా చూడండి ఓకే రూమ్ లో ప్రొఫెసర్ ఫిగ్ రూమ్ లోకి అయితే వచ్చి ఉన్నాం మనం ఇప్పుడు న్యూ కిస్ట్ మనకి ఏదో ఫస్ట్ అయితే ఇచ్చారు ఫస్ట్ మనం ఎక్కడికి వెళ్ళాలో దాన్ని బట్టి మనం డిసైడ్ చేసుకుందాం ఒకసారి మ్యాప్ అయితే ఓపెన్ చేస్తాను నేను మ్యాప్ లో ఓకే నాకు ఇక్కడ దొరికిన టార్గెట్ ఏంటిది హెర్బాలజీ క్లాస్ హెర్బాలజీ క్లాస్ కి అయితే వెళ్దాం నీ టు అటెండ్ హెర్బాలజీ క్లాస్ థర్డ్ బై ప్రొఫెసర్ గార్లిక్ ఇన్ ద గ్రీన్ హౌస్ ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ మనం హెర్బాలజీ క్లాస్ బి హర్ గోయింగ్ టు ద హెర్బాలజీ క్లాస్ Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. Professor Pig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you and then proceed to see me in my classroom. Handy resource indeed, your field gun. Pungus onion again. Okay, her policy class get out. Maybe for a month then is a month. Morning, Professor Garlic. How Bye. wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a 
little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello! Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in Herbology is knowledge. The prudent Herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bone. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio! Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. <laughs> now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair! I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now, for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our... Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like knot grass. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. How to balance my star thistle arrangement? Mifflers fancy or roses? Pardon me, Professor. What am I supposed to do with the Disney seeds? Your part in all this floral alchemy is simple. Take the seeds to your potting table, plant them, and then wait for harvest time. Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganwell potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Once it can be harvested, your dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld Potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite.
Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. No. Here we are. Home of the Chinese chomping cab. Go on. Grab it. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it. And they'll do the rest. Revelio. Thank you. 
I'm sorry. What do I need to do? Garlic said she wanted you to have a go at tending the cabbages. Give them some time to chomp and whatnot. Nothing to it, really. Just toss some of those Chinese chomping cabbages out. <laughs> You'll see fairly quickly why we call them that. they can get their mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but, well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed in Death Camp has more. You get the idea. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Protego! Nice to see you, my young friend. That helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves. I shall end our lesson here. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Oh, those mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. It cost me my hearing. Did you make anything grow? We must first understand it. That goes for plants as well as friendships. Kindness and concern are as necessary in the greenhouse as in the Great Hall.
Rumor has it there's a secret passage leading to Hogsmeade, but I haven't found it. Probably for the best. I find the girls. Maybe auras or someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogwarts. Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely incompetent. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a wig and weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Professor Sharp said that Wiganweld potion can treat injuries. Hope I never need it. I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office. He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. You remember me, don't you? Gareth Weasley. Ah, yes. We met in the common room. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fwooper Feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me.
I'll get you the Fwooper Feather, as long as you're certain Shark won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fwooper Feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. My Wiganwell potion's utter rubbish. Wish I could just replace it with one from Jay Pippins. Can you remind me what you needed again? I was hoping you could get me a Fupa feather from Sharp's office. It's the last ingredient I need to complete my potion. Your potion. always has a few potions on hand. Here's the Fwapa feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Endurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience and be thorough. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Get it! Again! Oh! Bell! Dragon Dog! What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor, again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. Brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. 
pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. My robes are going to reek from Gareth's inspiration for the rest of term. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was. Revelio.
champion coming through. Hello, Lucan. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Excellent idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? That'd be brilliant. Wonderful. I'll set things up. Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Accio! Incendio! Levioso! Excellent four. Akio. Incendio. Levioso. Akio. Incendio! Accio! Incendio! Accio! Incendio! Levioso! Accio! Incendio. Good one. Impressive wand work. I'd hate to face you in a duel. Thanks, Lucan. You've been a great help. Oh, stop. Don't make me blush. Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. Plus, you'll be even more formidable in crossed ones. Other jewels had better beware.
సారీ గాయస్ అమ్మ పిలిస్తే వెళ్ళాను అమ్మ పిల్లడు మొల్ల వెళ్ళడం జరిగింది Hello Nelly. I managed to get a Dalian key into its lock. Brilliant. What did you find in the cabinet? A curious token of some sort. Looks like a Gryffindor house token. I'd better unlock our house chest. I call them house chests. I've seen the one in our common room and heard there are also in the other common rooms. Keep an eye out. I do hope you continue on. For so much effort, the prize must be something grand. I should see this through and find the Gryffindor house chest. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. <sighs> it is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A portkey brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. Is that the magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? I think so. I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it, and I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us, to all of us, which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll, and Sorona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true. But shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? 
I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. Me. What's going on here? But Mummy! Archie, I don't have time to argue. I've told you repeatedly not to stray far from home. Especially when I'm inside with your little sister. But you should see them, Mummy. must have come this way! Think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be so... <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid man. I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. I'm not going anywhere with you. You'll take this student on the way next money! I hate lights! You'll feel that tomorrow. It didn't last that long. My God! You haven't got a prayer. Turn that introductor! Good day! Child! Tell Rookwood to find me himself. Expunk him. That's just fearful. That's proper production. Let me hear some. Lumos. Head in the clouds, this one. Production. Expunk him. Serves them right. I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. Perhaps some nice takes, but we can hold them up. I'm not going anywhere with you. You'll take this presumptive. Oh, huh? You haven't the presumptive. You clumsy little fool. No, I haven't even had the two yet. Let me Jack him! Tell Rookwood to find me himself. You can think you're with your skills, aren't you, sweetheart? Let me answer. Accio. Oh, How's that feel? Reducto! just happened. I've never been accosted in such a manner. I've been so close to Hogwarts. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. 
Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specialising in Merlin's work and life. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the Trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has a symbol in the centre. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the centre of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honours? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the Mallow Suite. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the Mallow Suite on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Did you see that? The vines disappeared! What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. These pillars are pyres, and pyres are meant to be lit. Akio! Incendium! The flames make the pyre sink. Not so tricky after all, Merlin. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swell on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. 
My guess is that each will also require mallow sweet, which you can find in Hogsmeade, should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now, I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. some assistance. Hello, can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes, my name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid. Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. Hmm... It sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. Incendium! This must be where the Pinch Smedley family astrolabe is. I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe.
trust you didn't find the dive too terribly difficult. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! Did you find the astrolabe? I did find it. However, I've taken a liking to it, so I'm going to keep it. What? But you can't. It doesn't belong to you. Find us keepers, Grace. I can't believe this. Father's stupid oath just cost us a priceless family artifact. I hope your new astrolabe brings you nothing but sorrow. If you can even work out how to use it. I knew I should have done the dive myself. Father's wishes be damned. I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. <gasps> Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello, I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my... What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? I hope to see you again sometime.
I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this. Take her. I should investigate. Lumos.
Revelio. Incendio! Lumos! This looks intriguing. Revelio. Levioso. Accio. Revelio. Revelio. Lumos. Protego. Lumos. Lumos Incendio Incendio Accio Lumos
I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go there. Hello, Mr. Semi. What can I do for you? What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? I'll have no trouble selling this. Thank you. Hope to see you again sometime. I never thought Ramrock's loyalist... Pardon me, is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly... That... I did enchant... Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. It was nice meeting you. I wish it had been under better circumstances. After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Arn. Lumos.
Revelio. I wonder who lives here. If you're here for my wed. After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Arn. Revelio. Incendio. Revelio. Must be it. Looks as if there's more than one way to enter. Arn will regret not joining us. If he doesn't come round now, he'll be made even more of an example. Yeah. Run, run, 
I won't rest until I'm dead. I'll snap that wand and your neck. Oh, you think you're sad? Oh, I'm suffering, do you? Incendio, you won't stop me. Incendio. Glance off of me.
Là, bien ça. La bioïsse. Incendio. Revelio. Incendio. Incendio. Akio. La violence. La violence. I'll kill you. La Viosa! That was quite something. Now, to free Arn's cart. Akio! Incendio. Incendio! Revelio! Incendio! Accio!
Revelio. Akio. Incendio. Akio. Quite an enchantment. The carts are returning to arm. Revelio. Incendio. Nevioso. Akio.
Levioso. Revelio. Not my fault you're a deadly great spider. I know a Merlin trial when I see one. Here. I should investigate. Revelio. There's a victory that came none too soon.
On, I have good news. Your carts are on their way back. I, d I don't know what to say. Any hope I have of getting my belongings back was quickly fading. Ramrock's lot called me a fool for believing in the good in wizard kind. Thank you for proving them wrong. The ones I faced were determined to make things difficult. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, I can't wait to have my things back, especially my paints. <gasps> you know, you've inspired me. I've been dealing with witches and wizards for years, and we've always got along just fine. Perhaps my next piece will be a tribute to all that is good between us. What a nice idea, Ron. I wish you luck with it. Oh, I can't wait to get started. Uh, thank you again for all you've done. All the best to you. Once my carts arrive, I'd be happy to show you my wares. Why don't you have a little peruse? Appreciate you stopping by. Uh, be sure to visit me again, won't you? <laughs>